Welcome to Aria's Story. I'm Santifico. This is the demo to, well, Aria's Story. It's one of the very few RPG maker horror games that I've had my eye on for a while. The other one being Museum. This game is 95% complete, at least that's what the uh, creator of the game says, or developer, or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Open book. I've just finished reading the book. What do you think? I really loved it. Your books are definitely my favorites. Oh, is that so? I'm very delighted to hear that. But one day you should write a happy ending. Happy endings are my specialty. How do you know if you haven't tried? Uh, oh. Hmm. I'll help you write a happy ending. But Arya, thank you, but... You suck at writing stories. Harsh. That's so rude. Oh, it's getting late. I should get going. You're right. You should get home before it gets too dark. And I'll see you tomorrow. See you. I'm finally here. I love the tranquil atmosphere the library gives off. It's far from the town, but it's worth a visit. Huh, what book should I read today? I've already read most of these books since I come here every day. That is incredible that you have read a literal library of books. Or at least pretty much all of them. What are you? Okay, you are a safe file. Okay, that was super weird. For some reason, the recording wanted to cut out. Huh, nothing really happened. I just saved it. All right, good afternoon, Haria. May I help you with something? Could you recommend me a book? I don't know what to read. Let me think. Yesterday, a new set of books came in, and I put them in a bookshelf near the large tree. You might find something interesting if you take a look. Thank you very much, librarian. Wait, what do you mean, like, the large tree, and why exactly are there vines all over the place? You're destroying the value of your books. Alright, well, that's totally fine. I'm not going to tell you how to run your library. Hey, what's going on? I'm not very interested in reading books, but I like coming here to play with the rabbits. Dude, rabbits are really cute until they make that weird grunting noise. Um... Alright, so, by the bookshelf here. Okay. It seems like the bookshelf that Mr. Librarian was referring to. There's books here I've never seen before. Huh. Which one should I read? No. Oh, how strange. This book doesn't have a title. It's decided. I'll read this book. I'll go sit down in my favorite place to read it. And, oh, I was going to say, where would that be? This place is incredibly magnificent. Like, no wonder you come out of your way to come here. This is like a paradise. Uh, suddenly I feel so strange. Hi, ellipses. More ellipses. So many ellipses. And I've just passed out. Huh. Everything is dark. Don't tell me I fell asleep while reading. I should get back home. Mom would definitely be angry at me coming home so late. You are incredibly right. My mom would... Actually, my mom probably wouldn't be that mad. Alright, so, let's see here. Well, actually, let's take the book. Now isn't the time to read. Alright, I guess I won't take the book. Let's see here. 
There's no one here. Maybe they all went home already. Nobody had the decency to wake me up. Tomorrow they'll hear me out. But the library at night is pretty creepy. Nah, it's not that bad, dude. It's just a library or something. Okay, still recording. Right on. And that... Did that change? Because that is super creepy. Has this poster always been like this? I think it was a lot cuter before. I think that's the case as well. No, no, it's locked. Maybe the librarian locked it when he left. Maybe he keeps a key someplace else. Alright, let's go upstairs and check that place he was sitting at. Which is, yep, look, there's a sparkly right there. There's something under the table. Obtain the library key. Great, now I can leave. It's been really nice because I, for the last whatever it is, I don't know, a couple of weeks, I've been recording in the morning when I first wake up and it's just, ah, uh, like, okay, the rabbit is gone now. Also, it's just nice to be able to go ahead and enjoy it, you know, not wake up first thing, record before work and all that jazz. Uh, the key doesn't fit. Then where does this key go? There aren't many other doors here. I'll have to find another way out of here. Wait, what is this? Play with me, Haria. Absolutely not. Alright, time to save one more time because I am a save whore. Now, let's go get the book now. See if this will help. That, no. Now isn't the time to read. I feel like I need this book or something. Oh, uh, this looks new. It seems like there's something hidden behind the bookshelf. Should I move it? Absolutely. You are incredibly ripped for a 12 year old if you're moving that bookcase. Like, oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. How weird. The bookshelf doesn't weigh much despite being full of books. A secret door. Uh, use the library key. Absolutely. The door has been unlocked. What does it deal with this? It looks like someone broke the glass and took whatever was inside. The door is closed. Huh. Has there someone behind the door? Can you open the door? I fell asleep reading a book and now the library's closed. Of course. But I can only open it if you say the password. The password? I don't know any password. How unfortunate. Only those who know the password are worthy of going through. Not everyone is worthy of going through this door. Come back once you know the password. Okie dokie then. I'll just save. Also, one interesting thing about these games, like this one in particular, is that most of the time you can just run through the door. This one you actually have to press a button, which will definitely be the kill, like the death of me at some point. Uh, what does this say? Is that say play? I, all right, I guess that's play. There's something written in this book. I will cease to exist once you say my name. Maybe this is related to the password. I know this one. It's silence. That... Are you serious? That is incredibly creepy. Hold on. I'm going to go back and talk to it. Hey, what's going on? Ha! Yay! <laughs> All right, so don't go back in there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, you got me on this time. All right, self-silence. So You're very stubborn, but I'm not complaining. It would be quite a boring story if it had ended right before it started, would it not? Do you believe you are prepared to pass through this door? Absolutely. Tell me, what is the password? It is silence. That is in That's incorrect! No. Okay. Um, read the book here. Uh, let me go back and read through everything here. Alright, it's gonna be one of those weird, like, trick questions, I guess. 
Oh, don't say anything. Gotcha. Alright, so silence as in don't say anything. That is correct. Alright, so you gave it a twist. Interesting. Silence is the most beautiful sound in the library. And when you pronounce this word, it loses its meaning. Not everyone is capable of understanding it, but I see that you are prepared to continue. Though I already knew from the beginning. After all, this door was created especially for you. Go ahead, Haria. I've been waiting for you. Alright, dude, let's do this. Where am I? It looks like this place is floating in the middle of nowhere. And where is that person that was behind the door? I will tell you right off the bat. It is, like... I think you're on a drug trip. I think that's basically what's going on here. Okay, can't go through this way. And I can't go through here. There are many science fiction books on the bookshelf. Um... There are many science fiction books on the bookshelf. There are many horror books on the bookshelf. Oh, I know this book. Romeo and Juliet. They shouldn't be here. i take it. Alright, so we just gotta find out where it's at here. There are many adventure. Yep, many adventure. And tragedy. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. There we go. It's a comedy. Uh, I guess... Okay, maybe not here. Nope, not there either. Okay, so apparently it's just... When I thought comedy, I thought like... What is it? A, um, like the old school Shakespeare comedy. Not like haha -ha slapstick comedy. Place Romeo and Juliet in the bookshelf. Now it's right on the bookshelf. Okay, a million thanks, miss. I felt so out of place on that bookshelf. Huh. The book spoke. Is there something wrong, miss? Well, usually books can't speak. But more importantly, do you know where I am? Right now you're in the hallway that connects the two libraries. In fact, you are the first human to go through this door. Is it possible that you are Haria, miss? Yeah, that's my name. I see. Thanks to you, I have returned to my rightful place and all the books are in harmony. Let us thank you. Okay, and alright. Everything is ready, Miss Aria. The books, oh, they're all empty, though. No, oh, you've made like a passage or something. You've created a stairway so that you may pass, but proceed with caution and try not to fall. Don't worry about stepping on us. We're much stronger than we look. Oh, thanks, dude. Proceed with caution. I'll be praying that you don't end up like the protagonist of my story. I hope not either. Okay. The young girl with rosy eyes were bewildered upon the side of the room she'd entered. Surprised to hear a familiar voice. You're the girl that was behind the door. She identified the girl shrouded in misery before her. You must be Arya. Pleased to meet you. My name is Narrator. It is my duty to narrate what happens to you. That's actually kind of clever. Nary, what happens to me? Why do you need to do that? Because I'm a narrator. Is that not obvious? You make a striking point. The confused, rosy-eyed girl could not comprehend what was happening. Perhaps you could pass through this door. It may resolve your doubts for the time being. You're not obligated. You can stay here and find a way to return to your home world. What is it that the protagonist of a tale does? Do they advance or stay put? I'll advance. I see. In that case, I only ask one thing. A favor. A favor? Please, don't die so early. It would be quite a boring story if it had ended right before it had started. Thanks. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Go ahead. But first I will have this tea. 
Okay, can't do this. Go ahead. Okie dokie. No, are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. All right, so that was Arya's story. Huh, at least a demo to it. Anyways, like I said, the game is 95% completed. And I will be playing this throughout the, like, entirety. Like, it's completion. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you around next time. Until then, adios.